Welcome to another edition of Talking Models. Today we're going to do a painting tutorial on Shadow Creations Del Toro Wolfman, sculpted by Mark Van Tyne, and it's currently available. Just going to let you take a quick peek at this kit before we uh, talk about what I did to bring him to life. As you can see, Mark uh, did an amazing job on capturing uh, Del Toro in his role as the Wolfman. It's a lot of uh, movement in this piece. Very fluent. And of course, back to the front. Just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Well, let's talk a little bit about what I did to bring him to life. Are you ready? Let's go. Are you ready? I think he's ready. All right. I began by priming the complete piece in automotive gray primer. Once I had that done, I chose to start with the Wolfman himself. I started with the Wolfman so it could remain on the base for easier handling. And yeah, kind of lazy, but it just works because I, once I put it on my uh, Lazy Susan, I can just spin it around and paint with ease and don't worry about getting anything on the crypt. So I started by base coating the head and chest and hand with Freak Flex Body Bag Black. I painted the face area and the fingers with Garage US tie-in brown and of course shaded the eye area with Garage US transparent Mars red. Now time to start shading the face. So I pulled out some Garage US transparent dark brown and also I pulled out some Garage US transparent red oxide for the eye and the mouth area. So I had the face started my shading with the transparent dark brown and then the eye and mouth area. That way I could have a good starting point to start building up my colors. I also hit that uh, areas of the fingers with that transparent dark brown. I started to build up the fur coloring and I pulled out some Delta Cream Coat brown and I started dry brushing all the fur areas. That way I started getting my fur done. Um, then I could see how the face was coming. It's all like a process of seeing how everything works together. So I pulled out some Freak Flex Bleach Bone Tan and I painted in the eyes and also some Freak Flex Rotten Tooth Tan for the teeth and the nails. Now it's time to quiet everything down. So I pulled out my Awada Transparent Black and I also darkened the teeth and nails with the Garage US Transparent Dark Brown and then came back in with the tie-in brown and hit all the raised areas of the face and fingers. That way that black kind of just tones everything down a bit and you're, it enables you to start building things up. I know that's my style and it works and uh, give it a try sometime. So I introduce another layer of brown to the face and fingers with Freak Flex Wooden Stake Brown. Once I had that painted in I pulled out the transparent dark brown and kind of shaded it uh, to give it a dirtier look. Now I wanted to move up back to the eyes and finish the details and I pulled out my Freak Flex Banshees Gray for the tips of the teeth and the center of the eyes. I used Garage US Tongue for the lower rim of the eyes and it added more stress to the area below the eyes and mouth with transparent red oxide. I wanted to try to deepen the fur a little bit, um, so I decided to pull out um, some Garage US Transparent Rich Brown. Again, you notice I'm introducing in another brown. That way his fur has many different colors. So I shot that with the Transparent Rich Brown. I then returned with that dark brown and re-dry brushed all the fur areas. That way you get uh, the raised areas pop out and you also have your deep shadowing already in place from the previous steps. Then I pulled out some Delta Cream Coat Black and hit the shirt with some Garage US Ivory White. Now the black was used to paint the vest in that way I can get a little bit more depth before I decide to start building up the colors of the vest. 
So I came in and hit the inside of the mouth and gum area with Freak Flex Pink Eye Burgundy and added even more shading to the fur using a transparent dark brown. So I came back in with the Bleach Bone Tan and Rotten Tooth Tan on the eyes and the teeth and for the claws for further highlighting. And then of course more shading to the teeth and claws with the Garage US Transparent Raw Umber and transparent dark brown. So I'm building up the tips of the teeth and the eyes and then I'm kind of quieting it back down with the uh, spraying of the transparents just to give it that dirty look in the claws and the teeth if you will. So at this point I return to the face and using the tongue I highlighted the gums and mouth area and then I came in with pink eye burgundy to hit the final highlights to the tongue and transparent Mars red was then again applied under the eyes for a further reddish distress look. At this point I painted in the pupil with body bag black. I wanted a yellowish intense look for the eye color. So I searched through my uh, Freak Flex line of paints and I pulled up poisonous plague yellow. And I just simply uh, drew in the eye color, of course, leaving a hint of the black. And then I hit, again hit the raised areas of the face and fingers again with the wooden stake brown. That way I'm further bringing out that uh, main color and just uh, having a nice blend of washes, uh, the paint, and then of course the transparents. So I used the body bag black for the pupil. And at this point, I shaded the shirt with transparent U.S. Trans Pains Gray and highlighted the shirt using Freak Flex Turn Ghost White. And then I pulled out some of the Awada Rogios Vein Flesh and I hit the veining on the hand. Time to finish off the Wolfman. I used Freak Flex Mummified Brown for the vest and brought back in the original tie-in brown for highlighting the face. And then of course I hit pulled out my transparent black and quieted down the shirt and vest just to kind of pull everything together. And believe it or not, the Wolfman was done. On to the base. I base coated the complete base with Freak Flex Body Bag Black. I began with Freak Flex Grave Parlor Gray to begin building up the grays and at this point I hit the crypt doors with Freak Flex near black. That way I had my base colors down. And for the Talbot name on the crypt I used Freak Flex Old Wreck Rust. Now I followed all this up with shading the walls and signed area with Garage US Transparent Rich Brown, Transparent Raw Umber, and Transparent Burnt Umber. So at this point I came back and hit the crypt doors with Old Wreck Rust then quieted it all down with some transparent black. I used Freak Flex Gravestone Gray for the bricks and some highlights and dirtied it up with some Garage US Transparent Dark Brown and Transparent Rich Brown. And I hit the squares on the door when they're black. And then I hit the base once again with the transparent black. And believe it or not, the Wolfman is done. And that's what I did to bring this uh, beautiful piece to life. And I will put some ordering information in the uh, description of the video so you can contact me, Troy at shadowcreations at gmail.com and give yourself one of these beautiful pieces. And if you haven't subscribed to us, I would hit the subscribe button. Double finger it, man. There's power. Boom and join the family. I'm on a quest for 500 subscribers. Maybe you'll be one of them. You think they'll be one of them? He's confident. I mean, look at him. There's confidence right there. There's confidence in that face. So thanks again for stopping in today for this painting tutorial on the Del Toro Wolfman from Shadow Creations. And I hope that everybody has a great day today. I hope everybody stays safe and just uh, get away from the world and the stress and paint some models. That's what I'm doing. So thanks again for stopping in. 
And as always, may the Lord bless your day.